Why is China leading the electric vehicle race? While American automakers struggle with high costs and slow adoption, China has quietly taken over the global EV market. If you're intrigued by what you've heard and want more insights, hit that like button. It's not just about making cars, it's about owning the entire process from start to finish. The secret to their success, batteries, but there's more to it than just superior technology. Let's dive into how China has managed to lead this revolution and what it means for the future of electric vehicles. Did you know that nearly 40% of an electric vehicle's cost comes from its battery? That's a huge chunk, and it's one of the reasons EVs have been so expensive, especially in the United States. When Ford needed to cut costs for their F-150 Lightning, they looked to China, home to CATL, the world's largest battery maker. China's dominance in the EV battery market is a big reason why their EV sales are so high. In fact, EVs make up more than half of all new car sales in China. Meanwhile, the US struggles with high costs and limited options. China's mastery in battery production and innovation has made them the leader in the global EV transition. China's success didn't happen overnight. About 20 years ago, they faced a problem, becoming the world's largest importer of oil. The solution? Electrify their car fleet and reduce dependence on foreign oil. The government rolled out massive support for new energy vehicles, offering subsidies, cheap land leases, and low interest loans to companies like BID, which quickly became a global leader. Consumers benefited too. Generous subsidies, discounts on charging, and favorable parking conditions made only an EV not just affordable but desirable. By 2024, over half of all new cars sold in China were electric. This rapid shift was no accident. It was a result of strategic government planning. But China's success isn't just about making batteries. It's about controlling the entire supply chain. Electric vehicle batteries require specific minerals like nickel, cobalt, and lithium. Over the years, Chinese companies have bought stakes in mines worldwide, ensuring they have access to these essential materials. China also dominates the refining process, where raw materials are turned into battery components. By controlling the production and refinement of these materials, China sets the prices and dictates the terms. It's no wonder that new US rules on battery sourcing have left many EV models struggling to qualify for tax credits. China's influence is deep and far-reaching. If you're intrigued by what you've heard and want more insights, hit that like button. China's lead isn't just about resources, it's about innovation. Lithium iron phosphate LFP, batteries, developed by Chinese companies, are cheaper to produce and avoid using expensive minerals like nickel and cobalt. CATL and BYD have led the way in LFP technology with innovations like the blade battery, which increases range without increasing size. LFP batteries are becoming increasingly popular, and most of them are made in China. However, CATL is expanding globally, with new plants in Germany and Hungary. Even in the US, where there's been resistance to Chinese influence, Ford is building an LFP battery plant in Michigan, showing that American companies recognize the importance of Chinese technology. China isn't content with dominating its own market, it's expanding globally. CATL's new plants in Europe are a clear sign of this ambition. Even in the US, China's presence is growing. Ford's partnership with CATL for their Michigan plant shows that even American companies see the value in Chinese technology. As the world transitions to electric vehicles, avoiding Chinese-made batteries is becoming nearly impossible. With their market dominance and technological advancements, Chinese companies are set to play a significant role in the global EV market for years to come. China's rise in the EV industry hasn't been without controversy. Some argue that their government support amounts to unfair competition, while others raise concerns about human rights and environmental issues in their battery supply chain. The US is trying to catch up with plans to invest billions in building its own battery industry, but this will take time. Meanwhile, the urgent need to transition away from fossil fuels leaves US automakers struggling to provide affordable EV options. The question remains, can the US reduce its reliance on Chinese batteries, or will China continue to lead the way? China's success in the EV market is a story of strategic planning, innovation, and control. As they lead the global shift to electric vehicles, the rest of the world faces a tough choice, rely on Chinese technology or find a way to compete. The future of transportation is electric, but it's also deeply intertwined with global politics and economics. What do you think? 
Will China maintain its lead or will other nations catch up? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos.